Okay, episode 8 of uh, the Hungry Map. Hungry for more. So let's uh, crack on. So currently I've got... When it comes up. Took a while. So currently I've got nine grand, so I need I need like 144 grand. So I need to do a lot of jobs, um, uh, and the most expensive, most productive jobs. So it looks like that's the best one at the moment. Got two minutes to get to there, and uh, I'm not going to get there in two minutes. So yeah, this is all right. Got two minutes to get to there. I should be sort of just up the road. So let's go for that one. Not sure where I am, and I think I've just delivered, so, yeah. So, working in the dark. Um, I haven't really, yeah, I need a break. Shit, I need to have a drop. And a crash, that's a good start, isn't it? Um, so I lost a bit of money on that, which is swine. I have to remember that I'm playing a different game now. Right, so I'm going to park up and then uh, see what, what I've got, what jobs are available. So I need to rest, there's no point in me taking, well I could take the job now and then rest I suppose. Yeah, I could do that. Assuming I'm going to get there in under 10 minutes. Oh, 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 I need to go. Save any time nipping around that. So what we got? I hope it's still there. Oh, it's something different. Oh, it's still about the same price, so same value. So uh, we'll take that one. These are quite, the trains are quite, um, they've got quite high centre of gravity, so they're quite unstable. So I'm going to have to be a bit cautious with this one, I'm afraid. I'm going to need a lower gear, because it's very heavy. Another 300 gun. I have to be quick, but I don't really want to keep paying out for crashes and, uh, and red lights. So it's been a, although it seems like it's same day, well, it is the same day in the game but it's not the same day in real life so I've got to get used to driving carefully again so it's, I'm not really used to doing that I 
you'd stop by when I got past. If I'd have blanked my way through there, I would have crashed into him and would have caught him with a trailer, so it would have cost me a bit extra money. So I uh, decided to break back off. So this job is 49 minutes, so that's quite good. Uh, I'm not sure why that white light is flashing. Slightly uphill, so it's struggling a bit. I was expecting the uh, the upgrade to be the your truck simulator upgrade to be out any time now, but I think they I guess they're having problems with that with getting it to do what people want it to do or what they want it to do I suppose that people have suggested um, they were they were almost ready to release in uh, December I believe um, they had to recall it or they had to stop the release because certain parts of it were broken which is good, at least they're not doing a bit battlefield, uh, you know, die CA trick of just releasing it and expecting people to buy it and uh, bear with it while they fix it. But I'm not sure if it's a very uh, cost effective way of doing it. Zero Truck Simulator itself is actually very, very cheap at the moment on Steam, or it has been. I guess it still is. So I guess they're not making a lot of money now. So if you want to help them out, just uh, if you haven't got the game and you like the look of it, do buy it. It's on Steam. Get it on Steam, it'll be updated automatically when the update comes out. Um, it's worth getting now to get used to it before the update and to uh, build up your fortune or your business anyway because I, I think it's going to be a bit harder to uh, to make money in the new release I would expect because making money in this release is pretty easy You don't crash the vehicle that is like I do. One minutes to go, uh, 40 minutes now, 25 miles, uh, so we'll, we'll be in plenty of time, it's gone down to 39 already. These brakes are very vicious, but it, you sort of need them with something of this weight. I'm not sure how heavy this is, I didn't really check. No way to avoid taking that sign down. It's just <coughs> too tight. You've got to go right to the outside because the trail is so long. And he just makes it around the bend. So.
shoe advert's pretty uh, prominent, that Nike advert. See that quite a lot. But there's not a lot to see in the dark. The stars and the odd tree as it goes by, as we go by, or a lot of trees. And oh, some flashing lights, what's that then? Oh, uh, power, power line, power thingy. So I should be able to, I didn't need to rest, I should be able to get there without resting, it's uh, only 33 minutes. I must remember to rest when I get there. The problem is if you look at the uh, jobs available and then you you choose one, especially in this map because everything's you've got two minutes to go and pick your trailer up. Um, oh shoot. Oh. You weren't supposed to turn mate, you weren't supposed to turn. Well that's uh, cost me a bit. I'm not hitting again as I come out. Yeah, so the um, as I was saying, if you get the job, let's see if I can catch up to that brute force trailer. Uh, yeah, if you accept a job or go for a job, and then you, you've got to rest before you get to it then uh, you can lose out because it might not be there when you get there. And the other thing is, um, if you if you get there and you've got to rest, then you might be late delivering it. You know, you pick it up and you've got to rest, then um, your delivery, because you, you sleep for like, I don't know, six and a half, seven hours or something, like seven and a half hours. So if your delivery is a short delivery, then you're gonna be way over time and you'll lose money, or you won't make anything. There we are, the brute force trailer. Whoops, oh shit, come on, get back on. You get, you get stuck, when you, when you touch the, um, central barrier, you tend to get stuck on it, which I suppose is true to life because it actually stops you turning the wheel, if your wheel's against the barrier you can't turn your wheel. So I incurred a little bit of damage there, I don't know if that's going to count against me in the delivery, but sometimes does. It's um, coming up to midnight uh, on game time, which is why it's so dark. And which is why I've got to sleep, so. So it's still day one, actually, in the uh, in the game. And I've managed to make eight, eight grand plus whatever I'm gonna make on this one, so probably nine grand or so, nearly, nearly 10 grand be good. Oh, another brute force truck or trailer on. Yeah, so day one, 10 grand, that's not bad. Um, I owe two and a half grand, I think it is, or two eight to the uh, bank. So, you know, eight grand in a day is not going to be not too bad.
15 minutes now to go. Pretty good time. So at least I'll get here, I'll have a rest and it'll be daylight again, so that'll be good. Finishing about quarter past midnight, it's not too bad. So the best we can get with this load on is 59 miles now. Let's see what size the load is. Uh, what's that? 13 ton. Oh, 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 about to go off there. Shit. I can reverse before anything comes along. No, don't sit there, car. For fuck's sake. I'm going back a bit to um, to make sure I've got enough room to get over. And there's a bit of a bump down there, so I've got to be careful of that. I've done that before and tipped the bloody thing over. Going left here. Nothing coming. Uh, uh, you're going to get squashed, mate. That's fucking pain that is when they do that. Uh, I didn't get didn't get penalised for that, so that's good. glow they got around the lights they look uh, you know makes, makes them look like real lights anything is they're all the same brightness which they're not in real life but there you go there's only so much you can do in a simulation especially with the limited resources these guys have got or had up here, what's that? can risk going through that, hopefully. No one's going to come through at this time of night. That's one thing where it is sort of true to life. In the night time there's a lot less traffic. One good thing about travelling at night. Taking that bend nice and wide. You want to pull the trailer across the road and some truck tr crash into it and cost me money. now. Still can't see the delivery point. That's a new discovery, but uh Buddha Dell. Probably perhaps something like Buddha Dell or something. Alright, so we're going off we're going off here or the next one? Can't figure that out. I think it's I think it's here. Again, I've got the probability of rain turn right down, but it, 
seems to rain quite a lot. Turn it down a bit more. I did turn up slightly, but it's still very low. Okay, I can see the delivery point now. bother doing that, I didn't save me much time because I had to break and move over. So we're going to cheat this one. A bit of damage on the vehicle so I'm going to have to bloody repair that. Luckily we've hit a green light here. red light here. Let's not. Let's not. Let's sneak around. I'm going to cut this corner just in case that changes as I go through it. Well, sometimes they change as I go through and you get done for it. Right, here we are. One delivery. So I'm actually going to uh, let it auto deliver. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I was going to auto deliver it just to save time, but what the hell? I don't normally do that, so why should I start doing it now? Oops! More damage. Oh, a lot of damage that time. Right. So let's see. I don't know what you mean, mate. How the fuck did he get that wrong? If I do it faster, so I get it wrong. There we are, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. That's where we get that good work. Damage penalty. Damn. So I've got 1300 for that. That's not too bad. Not too bad considering. So that's uh, 24 minutes of video there. So I'll do another one. I'll need to rest first. So uh, yeah, we'll do that yet. Drive to a rest point. Engine malfunction. So where the flipping heck is a rest point? Not to see one. Probably miles away. Not that it matters. It's just the time thing, that's all. Oh, where's the nearest rest point? Bloody hell. Um, up there. So, just right and then carry on. Okay. change before I get there. No, oh yeah, nearly, yeah it did. Yeah. So there's a gap. 
garage here. I've gone past it. Uh, where's that garage? Uh, anyway, up here. There's a rest point. Good timing on the green. So petrol point and rest point. So we can rest here. Not getting petrol just yet. Right, so let's see what jobs are going. So we are here somewhere, Buddhadel. Uh, I've got five minutes to get to these ones, so I've got 1900 for that. Um, what's that, 28? So this one's 30. 30, 30 pounds per mile, this is 30 and a half pounds per mile, that's 30 pounds per mile, so that's quite a short one, so I may as well do the long one, right, so let's... Come on, air pressure. Come on, you can do it. There we go, I think it's, I think it's doing it now. No. It's definitely up. It's not zero. Central reservation, so I can see if anyone's coming. stuck on the inside I won't be able to go past the red lights I'm going to nip over here There's a lot of red lights here right, so we're going round at bend here so here further on further on and you just missed that red light it was orange when I went through it or amber I should say Seems a bit of a long way to get to the pickup. I suppose we get there in six minutes and got in five minutes. I've got to get there in five minutes now. I'm gonna it's gonna be five minutes now, so I've got to really put the hammer down as they say. Which is a bit difficult in a Renault. Every bloody LED traffic light is red virtually. Or well, virtually every traffic light is red. Light is red. Let's get it right. So I've been here before by the looks of it. I've already discovered this place. Two minutes to get there. Might just do it if I can get this thing moving.
can't remember where it was I was going for. Is it still there? Oh, well, oh, that's good. I've got a 2000 one here. Excellent. I think the other one's gone. But I've got this one. Two grand. That'll do. Turn before. Turn earlier. Got that bit sticking out. I'm sure there's a proper name for it. Trailer hitch. Is that the hitch? So is it quite a let's have a look to see how how heavy this is. This is eleven tons. You're gonna get squashed mate. Don't move out of the way though. It's so quite a long trail and quite a, well not that heavy, it's lighter than it. You know, I'm going to get this quite a lot now, because the vehicle's damaged. I'm going to nip through here and watch the mirror, there's nothing coming. A bit cheeky that, a bit cheeky. Stop on amber. I've got anything behind me. Damn. Damn bus. Actually, I'm, uh, there's a car there. That's probably not a real car. I'll probably go through that, but uh, yeah, it wasn't worth the risk. change before I get there. I went there. Good, good, good. Hopefully I won't clip anything. No. I was very cautious there. So going left, is that going to change before I get there? Yeah. Thought it might. Just worried about hitting that car, so I took that really wide and then braked. Oh, just disappeared. <laughs> oh, and it's appeared again. Oh, very good. Whoa, what the fuck? Invisible wall. Those cars buried half halfway up the tire in the tarmac. Must have been there a long, long time, and it must have been a oh, what's this? It's a Renault trucks. Oh, I've already already discovered this place. I could go and get fixed, but it's going to cost me money. I know it cost me money in the long run anyway, but 
hopefully I can earn a lot more before I get done for it. So yeah, I've got nearly nearly ten grand, as I said, nine nine six one. Um, and at any time I expect two two and a half grand to disappear. So I'll be down to about seven something um, after the bank collects their um, collects their interest. A roundabout coming up. Unfortunately, we can't drive straight across roundabouts at the moment. I think we'd uh, end up flying. slow. I suppose you do to give the uh, truck a chance to turn. Oh, well, it's a wide load. I just noticed that there's a red flag on the right on the le and the left. On my vehicle, on my trailer, there's a red flag either side to show it's a wide load. So one hour 14 minutes, so this will be quite a long one, although hopefully it's going to be a fair bit of motorway. I'll be able to fly along. <laughs> fly along and Renault don't go together, do they really? Still, we've got what we've got. I'm going to have to make the most of it until such time as we can afford another vehicle. Of course, if you're, if you're just watching this to see how I make my fortune, obviously it's very early days at the moment. In fact, it's day two in the game. Um, I've earned ten grand in the first day, which is quite good. Um, but I'm going to have to earn 144 grand to be able to afford a garage. Um, the bank may lend me more, um, so I've got to keep an eye out for that watch my emails um, and if they do then I will take whatever they offer I think that that is sort of the secret of it is borrow to the max because then you can build up your your, your um, garages and so on you need a need a garage so you can hire you can buy another truck and hire a trucker to uh, to do the work for you, um, so they'll be earning, you'll be earning, so you start earning double the money, apart from their wages, and then uh, get another one, and you're earning more, and you get another one, you're earning more. So you can get in your first in your first uh, garage, you can get two trucks and two drivers. Um, which is quite good, and then you just work them until you've got enough to expand to a five vehicle um, garage. And then you, you know, it, it's exponential. The more people you've got, the more money you're going to make. The more trucks you've got and drivers you've got, the more money you're going to make, and the quicker you're going to make it. So the sooner you get, basically, the sooner you get your, your driver, your truck and driver the scene you're going to be making reasonable money. He nearly got taken out, didn't he? So I think this is going to be a slightly tricky turn with this wide load, wide long load on. 
you know it is it's got that bloody sign in the middle now if I'm right something's going to come past me here I'm going to take this really slow and really wide and hope nothing comes Let's see if I can do it without knocking the sign off I think I have because I slowed right down. So here I've got to take this bend now. This is this you can get stuck here. You've got a long wide load. Especially a long load. More a long load than a wide load. So you get and scrape the uh, barrier on the right. It's right there's no barrier on the left, that's fine. Or the right here. So I took that too tight that would have caught, it would have stopped me. Angry looking clouds in the distance. So I sat over there. Is that a school or something? Is that? Or uh, offices? It's offices, I think. And over there. Not sure. We're in pretty good time, 58 minutes left. And nice motorway so I can get the speed up. I'm just taking it to max revs at the moment because uh, it's slightly uphill. You get the top of this incline, I'll change up. There we go. So we managed to get 54 miles an hour pretty good. Uh, see it says engine malfunction but didn't do anything which is good. If you get a serious ma uh, engine malfunction it actually turns the engine off so you slow down. If you're going fast enough it doesn't make any difference. So 50, oh we've got the 60 so let's change up. Yeah that's good. Give my finger a rest. I'm going to put it on 65. Let me put it on not that one. On cruise control. There we go. So I don't think I'll get much more. I'm squeezing the trigger, and there's no point. I'm not going to get much more speed out of it. So I lock it down at 64. Then take my finger off and get the get the blood back into it. <laughs> get the circulation going again. So it looks like more rain on the way, which is wonderful. It just messes with your vision, that's uh, that's the annoying thing about it. Lights are off at the moment. It's 10:20 in the morning, so it should stay light for a while. 48 minutes to go in game time, which will be about about what well, about uh, 20 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes real time, so that's quite good. Make this, make this uh, about an hour long. This uh, episode. Hope you don't mind. I don't know. If people might prefer the shorter episodes or the longer episodes. If you've got any uh, opinion on that, do leave a message down below, and uh, I will act accordingly. And the good thing about the long ones is you can just skip through them. You can with the shorter ones, but then you got go on to the next one and skip through that as well so um, anyway let me know if you like don't forget to click like and uh, if you've got anything to say please say it the feedback is always welcome 
has its criticism as long as it's constructive criticism not you're an arse or something like that which believe it or not some people do say you know so what, what's an old fart like you doing playing playing uh, computer games at your age you know it's quite funny really it's uh there was something wrong with people. Obviously, not right. Socially, uh, dege social degenerates. I think people who say that who come up, and come on to they come on the stream as well and hurl abuse for no apparent reason. We've obviously, got something wrong with them. If anything's coming, yeah, I'm all right. It's so like a real um, cruise control. It does switch off when you if you accelerate or brake. It will switch the cruise control off. It doesn't just stick on, which is good. I wouldn't mind actually being able to leave it on and just take it off the same way I put it on. So you know, press a button and it goes off. Oh you stupid better car. You stupid car. You can see I was going left there. Looks like a bit of a tight squeeze for a big, big load like this. It's minor roads, but should be alright. Train going across there. It says 36 minutes to go, so we're going to be on these B roads for quite a while by the looks of it. Which is going to slow our progress down, which is a pain. Perfect. You hear the, you hear the gears graunching every now and then because the or the engine rattling or something because it's damaged. Oh, that's it. You pull out and then slow down to a standstill virtually. Go on, pull away. I'm guessing that um, SCS are going to charge for this new upgrade with uh, ETS being so cheap at the moment I don't think they can afford to give it away as a you know just a, a built-in upgrade um, I think they'll have to charge for it there's a lot of work gone into it as well so they've got to recoup that but you know Sounds like it's going to be worth it. It's going to be a lot of new things in it. Um, I don't suppose all the things they were saying they were going to put in it will be in it in the first release. You know, like, but I think I think the AIs are going to be improved. That's probably one of the main things that needs to be done. And that's a bad actually. If you, you you know what they're going to do. What, you know the sort of stupid things they're going to do. Like this is going to pull in and then he's going to break. Not always, but sometimes they do. So you've got to be aware of that. You've got to be aware of the fact they overtake sometimes on blind bends. And sometimes they'll cut you up. So now we've got one of those double right angle right angled bends so I'm going to take this really carefully with this big load now 
Now this may be a bit tricky because if I, I'm not sure I can make this wide enough to not put the trailer on the other side of the road. So I'm going to hit it. I managed it. They seem to like those double right angle bends in this map. There's quite a few of them about. Unless it's the same one I keep going on. I'm not very good at knowing places I've been already. So there's 27 minutes left. And we've been 7 minutes, so yeah. I can't remember what it was last time I said 49, was it 48, something like that. So we've done 20 minutes in about 7 minutes. 20 minutes game time, 7 minutes real time. He wasn't any further forward. So at least I've got really good brakes. Come on, you can go seventy now. Go, go, go! Shoe advert again, Nike advert. I wonder if they're sponsored by Nike. Oh, look, he's. It's, it's another thing, you pull out to overtake miles before. miles back from the vehicle they're overtaking. Well, not miles, but relatively a long way, a long way back. He's all that time, and he's only just overtaking. I know mean, you're supposed to start overtaking, you know, pull out early so you can see the road ahead, but not that early. That's another thing they do, they, they slow down really fast. Yeah. No, you stupid ass. And they pull out in front of you. I think there is this thing on the uh, in Europe, some places in Europe where the people on off the round people off, can come on to the roundabout in front of people actually on the roundabout. In the UK it's if you're on the roundabout you've got right away. I think in some European countries you've got to give way to the people coming onto the roundabout. Which sort of makes sense to a point. Because, you know, if there's a busy road and people are constantly coming onto the roundabout, people can't get onto it from other junctions. But 
but then if you're going around the roundabout and you've got to give way, then you're stuck on the roundabout while people are coming in. It's sort of a bit of six and two threes, really. So you, the other thing you can comment about is whether you like the hungry map or not. Do you like the hungry map? Would you like me to do it on another map? A different map? Um, I mean I've started this and I've done, this is the eighth episode, so a bit of a bugger I have to change now, but do you like the hungry map? I think it's pretty good actually, personally. Um, apart from a few oddities, uh, trees growing into the road, that's fine, that's uh, quite like real life I'm sure. See this one sticking out here, it's quite normal, but you don't brush against it, it's, it's not really there. Oh and here we've got to come in to get, see you, he's the one who overtook that truck really early. It's a lot more busy than the uh, standard ETS maps in, hun in the Hungry map. There's a lot more to it. A lot more um, housing and villages rather than cities. You know, you do pass through villages, which you tend not to. There's a lot more um, minor roads as well, or non non motorways. As the, the standard map's got a lot of motorways, mostly motorways. Air balloon. They do actually move. They don't, they're not just static, which is quite clever. I mean, some they go up and down as well as move around. Like a real balloon, but I'm not sure whether they track like a real balloon. Do you know what I mean? That one seems quite static. Actually, I haven't said that. <laughs> So just six minutes to go, so we should see the delivery points soon on the little mini map. I saw that train, I knew we'd have to stop. But we didn't. Just keep the momentum going.
minute and see uh, how early we are. If I'll get a timeliness, timeliness bonus. Don't think you do in this game, which is a shame. Right, so let's see. Six. Expected uh, 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 time remaining four hours fifty-two. That's cool. Four hours fifty-two early. Excellent. That straight in. It's not often that happens. Excellent. Yeah. Two thousand sixty-four. Really. Hmm. I thought the base reward was 2,000 or something anyway. Damn. Sure it was. So I said 2,000 something. Right. Damage is 20%. Oh, well, never mind. Eleven grand now we've got. Right, so we'll, uh, it's just over an hour now, so we'll, I'll stop this episode and start another one uh, where I'll pick up my next job. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to click like, etc. And make any comments you feel you want to make.